Sports of Soldiers, Chris C. CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. What I'm doing here is putting the final touches on my jerk pineapple bites. Just little toothpicks just for people to be able to to grab and go, you know, you have any little people over, over the summertime there. And you can do this on a grill. I'm doing it in the oven because it's still winter time here in Canada. But a great little snack bursting with flavors. We've got the vibe of pineapple and jerk. Something we're famous for in the Caribbean. So you're gonna love this one, man. Stay tuned, Irene. Got a nice ripe pineapple here. And the first thing we've got to do is break down this pineapple by removing the skin and the core and the stem. And oddly enough, once you cut, well, first of all, to tell if a pineapple is ripe, you would grab one of the stems on the inside here and you would pull. And that's how easily that came off. That's an indicator, according to the experts, of how you know when a pineapple is ripe. Oddly enough, let's cut this off. You leave it alone. This part here is what you would plant into the soil. You would cut back some of these, you would peel back some of this, I'll show you quickly. If you wanted to plant this, you would peel back some of this. And then all you would do is plant this in the dirt. And in a year or so, another pineapple will come up here. But for now, we ain't trying to plant that, we're in Canada. That will not grow in Canada, unless I had a greenhouse, which I do not have. So we took the top off, We'll take the bottom off so we have something flat to rest it on. And with a sawing motion, you're going to go in about a quarter of an inch down the sides in a sort of a curved motion. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but I'm following the contour of the pineapple. And all you do is you continue going along like that. wedges this part here is the core and that is hard we don't want to use that so I'm just cutting it into wedges now so each half this is a large pineapple by the way I cut it into four wedges and all we want to do now cut that core out so this part here into the rubbish and then this one we're just gonna cut into one inch cubes yeah well not cubes but chunks Again, remove the core into the garbage and into pieces. It's that simple. I'm just going to continue working it. Now, a lot of people, I remember when I was growing up in the Caribbean, we would use the core, we would use the skin, and we would boil it and make it juice. Today, I'm not in trying to do that because, you know, most of these pineapples we get here in Canada, they were picked young, they were gassed and they were sprayed with chemicals and stuff like that. I'm not trying to make juice with that, you know what I mean? But for now, let's break this up, yeah? And believe me or not, this is guaranteed to be one of the quickest snacks you've ever made, and it's so simple. Straight out of, out of a bottle, jerk marinade. The juice of half of a lemon. Now, if you make your own jerk marinade, that's cool too, but I'm just trying to show you how simple this is if you don't have the time or the energy or the, the want <laughs> to make your own jerk sauce or jerk marinade. We're going to thin it with a little bit of olive oil, so that's about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. And we want some dark sugar, and I have a demerara sugar here. And the reason why I like using a dark sugar is because it brings in a lot more of that molasses sort of taste to the entire thing, a tablespoon and a half of that. And all you would do is give that a really good mix. Notice how nice and chunky that is there. That there is just gonna go straight into the pineapple. 
Now it's important that you keep in mind that the jerk marinade that you use is going to be spicy. So this may be something the kids won't necessarily like. However, the sweetness from the pineapple may be enough to sort of counterbalance things. Get all that nice jerk goodness out of there. And then all you will do is toss that. That's it. Coat every piece of that pineapple with that jerk marinade. We just added that little bit of lemon juice to there just to brighten things up. And a little bit of sugar. Because like I said, it adds a lovely sort of molasses, sort of very Caribbean vibe to things. I've got my oven preheating to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Got my baking tray. Now if you want to line it with foil, I would recommend that. I'm just going in with some cooking spray. And then all we're going to do is pour this directly onto the tray. Put all the juices in there. Now if you don't line the tray, oh there's a lemon seed got in there, snuck in there. Adios buddy. If you don't line this tray with some foil or some parchment paper, you know, those sugars is going to caramelize and you're going to run into problems cleaning up this tray. Just try and make space in between so they roast off in the oven there. And you know basically all you're doing is pretty much heating this and then what that's going to do is allow for all those juices. If you've ever been to those Brazilian steakhouses you'll know what I'm talking about with that warm pineapple with that cinnamon and that brown sugar well we're just taking it to a different level here. We ain't going Brazilian we're going Caribbean Jamaican jerk man. You notice how I bring any man in there? <laughs> I'm just waiting for my oven to preheat 500 degrees, middle rack, and we're gonna let that go in there. It's gonna take on some color, it's gonna burst with flavor. And here you now, you're impressing the real people with this, and it's so simple. It's so simple, man. 20 minutes later, just look at these juicy looking jerk pineapple bites straight out of the oven allow it to cool before you go to greet yourself and bite into that that is hot on the inside it's full with juice so you will get burned but we got the flavors of cinnamon in there we got nutmeg we've got you know all those lovely spices which makes up a good jerk marinade a little scotch bonnet so you got some heat we've got all spice and we added that brown sugar and that lemon juice just to you know a little punch at the end there chris here caribbeanpod.com always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me jerk pineapple bites you're gonna love this one man what's up soldiers don't forget to click subscribe if you've already clicked subscribe hit that bell notification thing i want to all you missing out on the new videos man come on click